All right, welcome back. This is the final part of 21.1. .1. Keep with it. You're almost there. So it says, uh, numbers 1 through 30 are written on a piece of paper and are placed in a hat. Students draw a slip to determine the order in which they will give an oral report. So let's say set A is one of the first 10 students to give a report. And set B is picking a multiple of 6. So, they want us to know what the probability of selecting a shared. So it's what they share. So first things first, um, what is the total number of slips of paper? Hint, hint. Read the first sentence. How many pieces of paper are there to choose from? 30! How many pieces of paper are shared by set A and B? So it might be a good idea to actually write down, okay, set A is essentially 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, the first 10 numbers, whereas B is picking multiples of 6. Okay, so there's 6 times 1, and 6 times 2, oh wait, uh, 6 times 3, 6 times 4, 6 times 5, and why am I stopping here? Why am I not continuing? Because I forgot my time tables? No, because that 30 is the largest number we can choose. And what do they share? <gasps> How many sixes? Well, there's two, but they only share that one number. Hint, hint, one number. Now, for probability of A with this little tiny c. Remember that tiny c means what's not in a. So if a are the first 10 numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, I don't want to write down the whole ring, but it's up to 10. Again, how many are there to choose from? Total, total, there's 30. How many pieces of paper are not in a? Well, if there's 10 that are in a, hmm, and there's 30 total. I wonder, oh wonder, if 10 are in A and there's 30 total, how much is not in A? Hint, hint, I subtracted. I'm not going to do that for you because you're going to calculate that on your own. So I took the total and I subtracted from the total. So that whole subtraction thing, rather than counting out all those numbers, is actually what we're going to go over when we talk about the complement of an event. So this is taken from your textbook. We're going to use subtraction, where essentially we can figure out one or the other based on just subtracting from the total. So take a moment and fill those spaces in on page 11. And unpause. Hopefully you're moving on, because we're going to go over the steps on how to find the complement. So step one, we're going to define the event, what it is we're looking for. Step two, we're going to make a diagram, a picture, chart, some sort. Step three, we're going to determine what is not the event. And we're going to determine what is the event. And here we go. By the way, if you, I'm going too fast, please pause. And unpause. I'm going on to number eight. So it says, I have a bag of marbles. And it contains two reds, one yellow, and one green. So I got a bag. That's my bag. Whatever. It's got two reds one yellow, uh, one green, and one blue. I'm using the first letter because it's just easier rather than writing out the whole word. And then I have another bag. Ooh, I've got another bag. What's in the other bag? Money. No. Wish. Wish we had money. Um, but it's got marbles of each of the other colors. So here's my other bag. And we have a red marble. Since it's the same of each color, yellow, green, and blue. So, first thing we're going to do is define what the event is asking for. Selecting two different colors. All right, that wasn't that hard because we're just copying that down. Making a diagram. We're going to create a picture. What letter can I use for red, yellow, green, or blue? Oh, spoiler alert, I kind of already used that. Red, red, yellow, green, blue. Because there's two reds. For the next one, it's red, yellow, green, blue. Because there's one of each. All right, why 
did I only use R for the first? Well, because there's only one. It's one of each color in one bag and two of reds in the other bag. Come on, get with it. So that would be red, 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 yellow. Go ahead and fill out the rest. Green, 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 blue, 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 and I'll let you partner them up. All right. Um, pause and do that now. Unpause. Hopefully you filled stuff out because there it is right before the screen. So it says, let's find the event of selecting the same color. So right now, go row by row. I'll give you a hint for the first row. Highlight circle those that have the same letter. So look for the box here that has the same letter, same letter, and same letter. Unpause. Hopefully you did that. You found that to be the following. So that is how many possibilities for the same color? Five out of total, which was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we're determine P of A, different colors. So if there's 20 total, five are the same color, I wonder or wonder what that would be. It's 15. So you can reduce that. You can keep it. It's up to you. Yes, we could, I guess, reduce that fraction if you'd like. Um, number nine. So we're going to use that same chart. But this time we're going to look at the chart for selecting not a yellow marble. So again, we're not selecting a yellow marble. We're going to follow step by step. Not selecting a yellow marble. We made our diagram. It's already drawn for us. All right. We're going to determine selecting yellow. Let's count up all the yellows. So go ahead and take a moment, count up, circle, highlight all the boxes you see a yellow in. Just like you see right here. And go ahead and count up how many possibilities that is. Notice how I'm not including the one with just one yellow or one yellow. It's the pairings. And hopefully you counted. Found that to be eight. That's a total of, again, 20 boxes. So that means not selecting yellow would be 20, take away 8. I wonder, I wonder what that would be. And unpause, hopefully you wrote that to be 12. Yes, I guess we could reduce the fraction if you'd like. And unpause. We're on to the checkpoint. Oh my gosh, we got here finally. Um, there is homework, just so you know. Uh, so there's a set of 10 cards total, right? So in total, how many are there to choose from? 10. So that means all our denominators will be 10. Uh, event A is choosing a number less than 7. In this case, what's less than 7? 6. And I'll let you list them all out um, all the way up to 1, because that's the last lowest number we can do. Um, set B is an odd number, like 1, 3, 5. Seven, nine? Yes, it's the end of the day, so I'm thinking it's nine. Yes. And now we're going to use this information to figure out what the probability is. So for B, how many numbers are in B? I'll let you count. How many numbers are not in B? So essentially 10, take away what you got for the first one. And then remember, probability of A in, in the middle, what they share. So I'm going to list out set A and set B, and I'm going to have you find it on your own. No, I'm not going to write down the answer, so don't beg. It's not happening. But go ahead and circle and count, circle and count how many numbers A and B have in common. 
And no, I'm not going to fill those out for you. So you're going to have to do that at your own, your own. There is homework. Don't forget. Um, if it's helpful, come into the center. We have plenty of teachers and tutors here to help you um, on any of the problems that you see in front of you. Okay. Um, so they're flashing before your eyes right now. And if you need help, come into the center. We have teachers, tutors here who that's, that's all they do just to help you out. Uh, like I said, if you have questions, come on in. We'll be more than happy to help you. Um, and with that being said, hopefully this was helpful and we'll see you on the next class.